Listen to that, the whipping winds, terrifying, right? Because you can't really see what's out ahead of you as lightning illuminates the sky and every now and then shows off what appears to be that wedge tornado in the distance. This video out of Plevna, Kansas from earlier this morning, the supercell triggering a tornado emergency. And we know damaging several homes, trees and utility poles, but no deaths associated so far with this overnight terror. It wasn't the only tornado emergency that we had in the state. Greensburg, Kansas, in fact, also falling under that highest level of a tornado warning. We have Fox weather meteorologist Kendall Smith diving a little bit deeper into what played out in Kansas. I mean, to get a tornado emergency isn't all that common. You know, I guess if if you look at the past several days, we've seen quite a bit of it, Kendall. Uh, but to happen in the state of Kansas, during the dark hours, scary stuff. It really was. So Marissa, of course, as we know, there were 30 tornadoes that reported on Sunday alone from Texas all the way to Nebraska. But Kansas, my home state, was hit especially hard with numerous tornado warnings and two tornado emergencies. Now, a tornado emergency, it's the most severe alert that's issued by the National Weather Service, and it's for confirmed tornadoes posing an imminent threat to life and property. So since the first tornado emergency was issued back in May, May of 1999, there have been over 800 tornado emergencies that have been issued, resulting in over 550 deaths. And speaking of tornado emergencies, one town that sticks out is Greensboro. Kansas. It's a town, of course, that's deeply personal to me because it was devastated by an EF5 tornado back in May of 2007. And this is where a lot of my family members live. You're looking at some images of just the utter devastation that the town of Greensburg experienced. And unfortunately, when you think of this tornado, the enhanced Vegeta scale went into operation in February of 2007 and the Greensburg tornado occurred in May. So that's why it was classified as the first ever EF5 tornado, packing winds of more than 205 miles per hour and it was 1.7 miles wide. So it was larger and wider than the town itself. And then we fast forward 18 years. So after this town was devastated, nearly 95% of the town completely destroyed, 18 years later, last night, we did it almost all over again. There was a tornado emergency issued by the National Weather Service office out of Dodge City, Kansas, and this occurred roughly about 9.45 p.m. at night as the supercell that was producing this very large and powerful tornado was tracking its way to the northeast at about 30 miles per hour, and it had Greensburg right in its line of sight. Now, by the grace of God, the city of Greensburg was spared this time. The tornado itself passing just to the east of the city, right along Highway 54, you can see especially especially on our coalition uh, product or debris tracker. There's that debris ball. So we knew that this was a very powerful tornado that was in progress and it passed just to the east of the town itself. I've got family members that still live in Greensburg and they live on the western side of town. And so they are uh, so thankful that, of course, they were spared last night, but they are without power. The Kiowa County School District is also closed today because they are without power across the county. But then you think about this town. This is a small town called Havland right along Highway 54. Unfortunately, they weren't so lucky. They did take a direct hit and there was significant damage in Havland as well as just to the northeast in the city of Plevna. So this supercell, it produced tornadoes for a good 90 miles. So we watched as this supercell went on to produce a tornado in Plevna. Unfortunately, it did cause some significant devastation there. It was approximately about a mile wide, but thankfully no injuries or fatalities reported there, Marissa. Yeah, I think, you know, given what we've seen since Friday, to be able to say everybody's accounted for, no deaths reported, everybody's okay, it's the most important thing we can take away from this. Kendall, thank you. We know that on Friday it was a, a devastating day. At least five people killed, dozens others injured.